So one of my coworkers was like, Brandon, I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think it's feminine that you wear a fanny pack. Like, no offense. I said, none taken, Melissa. However, I hope you don't mind me saying that I think it's masculine that you have to play both mother and father in your household because you chose to get pregnant by a man that didn't want you or that baby. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. I'm saying the only reason a man would be insecure about a woman's body count, my friend, is because they're insecure that they're not going to be able to satisfy the woman as well as the other men in the body count. Shame, shame, shame. Shame is one of the four major arrows of a low value woman. It's part of a low value woman's pathology. The only reason why a woman will be concerned about a man not wanting to be with a woman who has a high body count is because she knows that a woman who has a high body count is a harlot. And besides, there have never been any dignity, pride, or honor in being able to get and sexually satisfy the town's bicycle. I don't think women really grasp the understanding of males. When a woman says, I have these dudes in my DM. Yeah, you have a bunch of me's in your DM. And the personality of a man is, if you have a man, I'm going to keep throwing them a rock. I want to be number two. I don't want to be number one. Because the fact you're giving me attention lets me know you're looking at this bait. I'd rather be a number two. We already know what number one. Number one, you're the dude that you complain about to number two. You're going to complain about me to him. He knows about me. I don't know about him. You're giving him all the fun part of you. I'm dealing with the bullshit. You're getting all the cootie cat and that. He get, wow, no, that's what I want. I want the non-headache of you. So number twos always love to just sit back and hey, hey, yeah. Nothing but fact. That's why if she has a bunch of orbiters around her and she entertains them, that's your cue to leave. Honestly, if I was a man, I would only date single mothers or people to, or mothers, period. I beg your pardon? I feel like motherhood changed me so much. Mm -hmm. And although I'm married, I'm not single. Mm -hmm. mental, my mental, that my, it's not because I'm, I'm my, my mental isn't married. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, mental yeah, is my yeah. mental. A lot of stuff about me changed. I value myself more. I value my time more. I don't really give my time and my energy to shit that just don't, that don't matter, don't equate to nothing. Mm -hmm. So if I was a man, especially if I was a man that was older in age a little bit, you know, like Paw Paw, I would literally be like, you know what? <laughs> I want a single woman because a single, a, a single mom, mom, they know how to get it done. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Because they're trying to sell you a used car at new car prices. That BMW has 300,000 miles on it and they trying to get 100,000 for that bitch. They know that that motherfucking paint been changed, the copper rated and went out, the radiator clicking, the motherfucking transmission missing. They wouldn't be able to charge you full price. How much money does he have to make per year? At least 100,000. Going to 50-50 or someone who fully provides? Fully provides. What does that mean to you? That I would have an allowance. How much would that look like for you? I would say like 7,000, 5,000. Nasty bitch. Do you already have kids? Yes, I already have children mm -hmm. and I do not want any more. Yes, I do have two kids, two boys, and I don't want any more either. I do have children. Mm -hmm. I have three children okay. and they are young adults. Okay. And I am not looking to have any more. Okay. It is my time. I I'm, hear you. I'm you traveling. Right. I'm yes. traveling. <laughs> you in, hey, you in your era. Yes. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm, I feel it. This is bullshit. This is the U.S. dating market, especially in the black community. Full of entitled rache ass hoes with kids who think that they deserve a financially successful man who will take care of them and the children they had with Pookie. So my first baby daddy, which was my first love, and he's the father of my oldest, he has transitioned from Tony to Tracy, and he does not want to have anything to do with his child. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but ladies, you know if a man leaves you, you the problem, right? My second baby daddy was kicked in the chest by a horse. It gave him an instant heart attack and he died. My third baby daddy, just a deadbeat, I didn't know that he was married. And when I told him I was pregnant, he confessed to her what the situation was and all that. She went with it and now we just waiting on the DNA test to come back so that they can pay child support. My fourth baby daddy decided he wanted to fucking be a pirate. <laughs> Wait, what? And go rob the boat freights and shit like that. So he is now serving 20 years. And my last two kids have the same father, and he is 72 years old, living in a nursing home with dementia.
You're not worthy. You're bad and you belong in the garbage forever. I can't hang out with your boys, you can't hang out with your own son. Bro, I already gave you the money. It don't matter. You have you're a dad now. The baby's here. I've had him. The baby's supposed to be with Jesus. I told you what to do. <laughs> it don't matter. That don't matter, bro. You, you had dad. the baby to take care of your responsibilities. If you man I had enough to have sex with my sister, you man enough to take care of the baby. What's your problem, bro? Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, but this bro, bro, what's good with your bro? Who's your bro? Wow. That's wicked. I am not for abortion, but the fact in the matter is that, if a woman wants to have the child, there is nothing that a man can do, he will be responsible whether he wanted the child or not. But on the flip side, if the woman doesn't want the child, there is nothing that the man can do, she can go and have an abortion whether the man wants it or not. This is the West. This woman decided to have the child because she wanted to be in that man's life, and she is using the child as a tool. Two morons getting it on, and at the end of the day it's the child who will suffer. No. Make it three, little person simp over there unable to hold his dumb ass sister accountable. Selfish hoe for a mother, irresponsible father, and weak spineless uncle. Yep. That kid is fucked. So I came across this, realizing why no man wants me because I got six kids at the age of 22. And then she puts at the bottom, like what the F is wrong with having six kids? A lot. The only reason that I could think that a person would want to have six kids by age 22 is because you get more public assistance the more kids that you have. There is nothing wrong with having six kids, but there is definitely something seriously wrong with having six kids at 22. I'm not even going to dive into the mathematics of how it is possible. But one thing is sure, it is dysfunctional. And, it is not like this woman is living in some places in the world where women are treated like cattle. This woman had those kids willingly. And do you think she had those children with a respectable man, a man who is actually an asset to society? Absolutely not. She had those children with hoodlums, and now she is taking advantage of the system, using taxpayers' money to fund her dysfunctional life. Another beautiful woman who thought her beauty could trump a man's history. Let me get this straight. So you got with a man who was already in a relationship with a woman he was with for years. And the only thing he gave her was two kids. You come along, get with him. And then you think that you're going to get a different result. Is it because you so pretty? Is it because your body's so nice? You think that he just ain't never been used to having somebody as bad as you. So now he going to change up what he been doing for years. He not. Y'all are the proudest, proudest single mom we outside I don't need a nigga women that I've ever seen y'all are the proudest like you are proud to be I mean I remember when you if you did something that will that was horish you hid that I mean you didn't want nobody to find out because being a hoe was frowned upon now it's like if you ain't a hoe, you ain't popping <laughs> I'm just going to say this you may not be in these streets whoring yourself out but here is the thing if you dress like a hoe, you are a hoe. Yes. The clothing doesn't make the monk, but it is because of the clothing that you recognize the monk. Men are not saying that black women should lower their standards and, and accept me. Ma'am, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. What the hell do you mean lower their standards? Where is your level at when you already have children by different men, ma'am? Where is your level at? What do you think your dating value is when 8% of you are obese or overweight? Who the hell do y'all think y'all are? What do you think you deserve? A man has to come in here with most black women. A man who agrees to come into a relationship with her, he's going to also have to agree to support children, to mentor children, to be willing to defend children who do not belong to him. A baby mama would have you thinking her baby daddy is a clown. The whole time, he a boss and she the bone. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I want to give up on my sons. They lazy, they dirty. The one working you know, he's rude and pictures back for. The boy told me I need to get a better job and make more money and I need to buy a better house. And I am a single mother of five. Damn. These niggas don't do shit for my kids. I do everything for my kids. They won't clean. They won't do chores. Like, they won't walk the dog. They won't do nothing but play the fucking game. My man. I'm tired of trying to tell them how to be a man because a woman can't teach a man how to be a man and they daddy say shit. And there's nobody for my mouth because I knew who the fuck I was fucking. But damn. You're gonna learn today. Resolution commandment number two. A king does not date a drama that is a mama.
We didn't break our backs to get where we're at while skipping teenage pregnancy to become a stepfather. Think about it, Kings. That baby mama is already screaming, I'm irresponsible. There are many newer, lower mileage models out there that are not pulling a trailer full of drama around. Drizzle, Kings. Drizzle. So I gave my three kids to my mom because I feel like that was the best bet for me and my man because my boyfriend, he don't have no kids. He don't want no kids. And a lot of times they was around, all he did is complain that they get on their, his nerves. He always hollered all the time. And every time we went to the store or anywhere, the kids just would embarrass us. I just feel like it's just best for them to be with my mom for my sake and my man, cause now we are at peace. And one day, I, you know, I'm gonna go back, but right now it's a hot girl summer for me. And I don't care who don't understand and who does, it is what it is. And one day I get myself together, but right now I'm just outside. Something is wrong with you. Mr. Morris, you are not the father. Well, you were correct there. You are not Paris's biological father. Miss Thorpe, you don't look surprised. The next result is for London. In the case of Morris versus Thorpe, when it comes to four-year-old London Morris, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Morris, you are not the father. <laughs> Miss Thorpe, somewhere inside of you, you knew this was a very real possibility. Oh, I can okay. see your reaction. Who is their father? The other guy I was talking to. When I told him I was pregnant, he stopped talking to me. So you went with the guy with the best reaction. You went with the guy that was building nurseries. You went with the guy that was going to doctor's appointments. And you went with the guy that was going to support you through this. Yo, wicked. Why would you do that? What you mean, why would I do that? Did your daddy pass away? Did but that wasn't, that wasn't, that was not, I don't did even he, have my birth certificate. So you, so you took my birth certificate. Did you, did he ever pay child support? And what you mean birth certificate? Didn't I have What does that got to do with me? He left me money, not you. Okay, but he, not you. He never took care of you. So that was his payback for me. That was my payback. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. I don't know why you think you can just work. take my money. It's not your money. It's not yours at all. It is my money. I had you. It's it's in my name. Okay. That's stealing. I gave you your name. That's stealing. You took my birth certificate and claim insurance money. Jesus Christ. My inheritance. That's stealing. I had you with your father that passed away that didn't give me a single dime. So you're admitting to stealing. So you think that's okay I to steal? I'm not stealing. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? These women know you love your babies. They're going to fuck them. Ooh. Yeah, once they see the deadbeats. You ever notice deadbeat things don't get the problems we get? The things that don't give a shit? They don't go through the shit we get, bro. They be the ones chasing the dude. Won't you come see your dude? Oh, yeah. I'm the one that, yo, shut up. You'll never see her again. Like, I'm like, that's ironic. Debbie nigga won't be to ever God. see her again. He don't get that. <laughs> the first thing, you ain't never gonna see her again. Shut click. My man don't give a shit. She never threaten him with that. Cause no. that's like threatening him with a good time. <laughs> don't threaten me right. with a good time. Right, right. Never, I'm out. Swear, swear. Right. Promise. And you're not gonna put, you're not gonna come looking for me. I tell women like, how is it that so many men are quote unquote playing us, dogging us out, getting us pregnant, but not committing? You know, like how, how is it a higher percentage of women that's going through that if we're the smarter gender? To be lying to women and women lie to themselves even more. <laughs> The good majority of y'all easy to lie to because the moment you decide you like it, I don't ever have to make sense again. <laughs> Long as I know the rhythm to your two-step, we good in this. <laughs> so like y'all be looking at that, why y'all keep lying? Why y'all keep falling for it? It's because I'm stupid. 90% of women are not, do not fall into that space of deserving the kind of man that will protect and provide on that level. You might get the guy who will take you to a fancy restaurant. You might get the guy who will throw you two, $300, but he's not gonna spend 20 bands to build your business because you're just not that bitch. You can at any point decide that you don't wanna have sex with nobody. You can decide if I wanna go years because I could have been at a point in my life, hold on. I could have been
been at a point in my life. Let him have it, sis. I was out here doing whoever, whenever, because maybe I ain't had no guidance. Maybe I ain't had no direction. Maybe if you're a virgin and you go into the dating world and say, I'm not giving my cookie up until I find my husband, that's one thing. But you cannot have offsprings and go into the dating world and tell a man taking you on dates, you want him to get your nails done, you want him to give you money, church. you want him to pay your rent. We're going to and church say, today. I am celibate. Church. That does not make sense. Right. You were supposed to tell that to your baby daddy. So let's say hypothetically speaking, you and a million other women see a guy that you all are absolutely married right now. He says, okay, what do you bring to the table? He'll say, well, I cook, I clean, I'm good in bed, I'm faithful when I make my own money. He'll say, okay, and so could the other million women. What else? So if these are the things that you bring to the table, remove them and you'll truly see what you do and don't have to offer. Because when you're dealing with a man that you would marry that's showing you consistency with his words and his actions, he needs more than the average thing that any woman can offer him, okay? It's still men that lead, still have chivalry, and still provide for women. But it seems like a lot of us just want a man that's financially stable that we can control and lead. A lot of women, they get upset too. Like, yo, I um, I was in a relationship with him for five years and he wouldn't commit. And after we broke up, he was married in two years. Maybe. It happens a lot. Maybe. Well, number one, maybe he wasn't in a place where he could support a wife and kids and the whole nine. Yeah. Or maybe you weren't the type of woman who inspired that confidence in him. Men are not stupid. Men are, we are kind of like you talked about last episode, men are basic. Yeah. Women are not properly evaluating themselves. They think because they show up with pussy, some makeup and a nice outfit that you're a good woman. No. What do you bring to that man's life? Not a damn thing. You had a baby out of wedlock. Wait, hold on a second. You had a baby out of wedlock by a short term situation ship or whatever. You didn't ask for a ring. You didn't say you was a wife. You didn't ask for that. And then you come outside here and then you have a child. And a lot of the times women expect people to think that it's a badge of honor. No, it's not. It's a huge disrespect to come to a man with another child from another man and expect that man to raise him as his own. And this is one of the things that women don't like. So when someone's out there and a woman has been engaged, married, divorced, widow, we look at them slightly different. And that's the difference between a single mother and a baby mama. I've said it before and I will say it again. Women know absolutely what they do. They are perfectly aware of what they do. Women know that men don't like promiscuous women, women know that men don't want to raise other men's children, women know that men don't want to deal with single mothers. But guess what? They don't give a shit. And the reason why they don't give a shit is because. Number 1, women don't give a shit about what men think, feel, or anything concerning men, because first and foremost, they have no respect for men. Second is because they have no shame in being openly selfish. And the second reason why women don't give a shit about men's issues is because men don't care about women caring about men's issues. When men don't care about what women go through, women will let it be known. Make sure that men know, even when it is false. Today we have women crying victim in things that do not even exist, but because their demented mind is asking them to acquire more power so they let it be known, they make noise. But the men just stay quiet when women don't pay attention to what men go through, when women dismiss what men go through, men are just quiet and they keep their heads down, just keep on moving, protecting women who do not respect them, do things for women who do not value them at all. I am not saying that as a man you should go around and cry, but as a man there are ways to make your plight heard. And the number one way is to walk away. Again, men do not care about women caring about men's issues. That is why we have passed around hoes with children believing that they are entitled to be taken care of by a man. And it's because of that same passive attitude from men that women feel comfortable telling men what a man should do. That's why we have the famous shaming say, a real man would. And strangely enough, a real man always does things that benefit women, a real man always relinquishes the power to women, a real man always swoops in and bail out women for being held accountable. And that is because men allow women to tell men what is a man. That's why we see all of these women running their mouths spouting nonsense like, a man should not care if a woman is a single mother, he should just come in, take care of her, and the bastards that she had with some hoodlum. Basically, men allow themselves to be subjugated by women. Do you think if men stood up and said enough is fucking enough now you have a choice? You can either keep your legs closed until you get married or if you have a child outside of wedlock you will be ostracized from society. Do you think women can do something about it if men decide such a thing? But, you know what I always say, at the end of the day, life is a choice. That will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one, peace.
There's something about you ladies that causes you to believe you can get out there on the dating highway, get knocked up by a low value man who doesn't even come to see his, his child, leave him alone, and in the quest for a relationship or just having fun, you get knocked up by another low value man, and you believe you can do all of that and come back in your 40s and 50s and score a quality <laughs> a quality man with this 40 50 year old body that has been worn out no 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 that's not right we can open our eyes and see it hasn't been going like that a lot of your moms are still single a lot of your aunties are still single a lot of your sisters are still single but one thing that they all have in common they're baby mamas.